Hey guys, it's Alert here, back again with another review, and today we'll be taking a look at the Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Core Class Vertebrae. So without further ado to you, let's get into it. Alrighty guys, as I said before, today we're taking a look at Vertebraic. He is a core class figure, much like Rat Trap, who we took a look at the other day. He is part of the Transformers Kingdom line of figures, which is the third installment of the War for Cybertron series, which, again, season three is supposed to be hitting Netflix any day now. Looking forward to that. But, uh, yeah, brought to us by the fine folks over at Hasbro as usual. So with that being said... Um, this guy is another fossilizer, right? Just like Paleo Trex, Paleo Trex, but unlike Paleo Trex, he does not transform the same way. He's more like a traditional transformer. He just turns into a skeleton raptor. This guy is definitely a raptor. Paleo Trex is like a juvenile T-Rex or something. Either way. Taking a look see at Vertebraic here. Now, I used to have a little Vertebraic figure. Um, I want to say it's from Generations or something, but I got it at Family Dollar, and it came with a um, Cybertronian Beast key, which is similar to the key that uh, the Scourge figure from Transformers Cybertron comes with. Sorry, that's the best I got. Um <laughs> But uh, I traded that to a good buddy of mine, Dr. Twisted, quite a while ago. So shout out to uh, Dr. Twisted. Hope he's doing well. I haven't heard from him in a hot minute. But uh, he comes with his tail whip sword thingy. All these fossilizers have very lazy weapons. I'm just saying. But uh, getting that off to the side. You can plug it into his uh, his ass here. If you are so inclined, it can be done, and it looks stupid that way, so, yeah, yeah, but, uh, we're to break here, you can see he's got kind of a cone head, it's very pointy, I have a head, it ends in a point, pointy, 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 okay, <laughs> Yeah, stupid references. But, um, yeah, he kind of looks like a Conehead Seeker from some angles. I don't think this is supposed to be here at the top. But they put it there for transformation purposes, which is whatever. He does look cool, though. You can see the dino head down there, his chest plate. He's got, I think he's got a face plate, too, like Prime usually has. It's very small, so it's hard to focus, but you can see it there I think there you go but articulation on this guy is gonna ball joint in the head shoulders go out to the side back down forward and back a little bit more like a traditional shoulder unlike rat trap he does kind of he would have had a butterfly joint if this piece wasn't in the way he does have a single joint at the elbow with rotation and then he's pretty much just got his raptor legs for his legs. So you get the ball joint there, the hinge at the knee there. Then his feet do tilt a little bit and rotate and move forward and back. So yeah. Pretty nifty little figure. He's got the little dino arms up here. Kind of like shoulder pauldron thingies. But not too shabby for a new character. But uh, not the most interesting thing ever either. But uh, with that being said, giving him his lazy weapon back. <laughs> Seriously, I, I like weapons to be a little bit more interesting than that, but what are you going to do? These are one-off characters. I doubt they were really intending for these to be the selling point of the line, although I do think the fossilizer gimmick itself is kind of fun. But with that being said, let's take a look at some size comparisons. Taking a look at some comparisons for robot mode, here is Vertebraic next to his fellow fossilizer, the Deluxe Class at Paleotrex, who I took a look at yesterday, 
and his fellow core class, Rat Trap, who I looked at the day prior. And last but certainly not least, we got our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus and the Mortal Kombat 11 spawn. So with that being said, let's get this guy transformed into his beast mode. And here we have Vertebraic in his beast mode. And unlike Paleotrex, this guy is a tried and true raptor. Paleotrex, I know people say he's supposed to be like a T-Rex, but he's kind of small, so he's kind of like a Velociraptor. I don't Either way, this guy's a straight-up raptor. And uh, unlike Rat Trap, the other core class figure we looked at, He's got a little bit more going on in beast mode. But again, we are right up on him because he is very teeny tiny. So articulation on this guy, his head will look up and down. His jaw opens and closes. Or at least it's supposed to. There we go. Might need to put a little bit of lubin in there. Lubage. Lubricant in there. A little bit of... So, uh... This doesn't keep getting stuck, but I can open and close pretty well. And uh, you can, of course, tilt the set up and down, as I said. It's got a ball joint in the hip, moves in and out, forward and back, hinge at the knee, and his feet are on little, little teeny tiny ball joints. And his tail can, of course, spin around because it is just his sword uh, plugged into his ass there. But, yeah, that's pretty much it for this guy. As far as his beast mode goes. He is not a... Um, he is kind of one of the fossilizers, but he kind of isn't. Um, he's not a fossilizer in the same way as uh, Paleotrex and Ractonite, where you could take them apart and do different combinations. Uh, he's just more like a straight up, he's a traditional transformer, but uh, he affiliates with the other fossilizers. So with that being said, I think this may be, as far as like the beast modes go, this is probably the better beast mode between him and Rat Trap, but I still think Rat Trap's a better figure. Uh, just because it's Rat Trap and not some made-up shit for a Netflix series. So, with that being said, let's take a look at some comparisons. Take a look at some comparisons for Beast Mode. Here is Vertebraic next to his fellow fossilizer, the deluxe class Paleotrex, as well as the other core class figure I've already reviewed, Rat Trap. And last but certainly not least, and our two regulars, the Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibulus and the Mortal Kombat 11 spawns. With that being said, let's get this guy transformed back to his robot mode and wrap things up with some final thoughts. Overall, and while Vertebraic isn't exactly the most interesting of the fossilizers, he's still a fun little figure. I had fun transforming to and from his robot in dino mode. And to be honest, next to Paleotrex, I think he's got the second strongest dino mode of the fossilizers. Uh, you'll hear more about that in my Rock Tonight review tomorrow, but yeah, I like the little raptor mode. I like his little robot mode, and uh, I would highly suggest you pick this up if you're at all interested in the fossilizers. Now, in case you miss out on this guy, they are going to make a green variant of this guy. I don't know if it's Vertebrake again, just in a green paint scheme or another character entirely. I'll probably pick it up as long as it's a new character. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, much like they're going to be doing with Ractonite, I believe, they're going to be releasing a uh, character called Tritranius. It's like a Triceratops type character, which would be pretty cool to add to the Fossilizer team. Which, also, side note, are these guys cutting into the fact that we could be getting actual Predacons like Pterosaur, Tarantulus, and Waspinator? Because, uh, well, that would suck. And as much as I love that IDW Waspinator, I would like a kingdom one. I would like a kingdom a lot of things as far as the Beast Wars stuff goes. Beast Wars is my jam when it comes to Transformers. I know it's blasphemy, but uh, it's better than the Bayverse, right? Right? 
I don't know. I'm treading lightly here because you Transformers fans can get a little crazy. So with that being said, if you are at all interested in the fossilizers, you got to pick up Vertebrae to add to the team, right? So with that being said, I would highly recommend you pick this guy up for that reason and that reason alone. That are, you know, completionist or you like skeleton dinosaurs. Again, pretty cool, just like Paleo Tracks. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Don't forget to like this video, hit that subscribe button, and the notification bell so you know whenever I upload more reviews like this one. And we're wrapping up our Transformers Kingdom reviews with Rack tonight, tomorrow. Unless I get Air Razor and Dinobot, still on the hunt for those. Because, uh, well, Target and Walmart. And in case you haven't already, hit me up on Instagram at Overlord Productions. We're live unboxing videos of all kinds of stuff. Stay tuned, I'll have more coming there soon. And in case you are interested, you can watch the previous live unboxing videos at your own leisure. I upload them to IGTV after the live recording so you can watch them in their full train wreck glory. But as always, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think of this figure, if you like or don't like this figure, if you're jonesing for this figure, or if you're going to pass on him. Personally, I could see a lot of people passing on this guy. I mean, 30 minutes from here, there was probably seven of them hanging on the pegs. So take that as you will. But I like it. I think it's a nifty little figure, and I had fun messing with it. And as always, keep the comments civil. This world sucks enough as it is, especially when we're uncertain if we're getting more Predacons. Like, actual Predacons, not these made-up shits for a Netflix series. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later.